Previously on Pokemon Sword. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. <laughs> That's neat. Maybe we should check the next town first. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. So how many Pokemon do you have? Three. And it's Wulu, as usual. Let's go to... We got in a bit stronger. Me and my team will put you to the test and... Letter of endorsement. Shall we check? Is Dynamax related? Hello YouTube, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. So we are gonna start from where we left last time, which is at Professor Magnolia's house. So as usual, we're gonna proceed into the story, further in the story, and catch some Pokemon along the way if ever we encounter new ones. I'll probably start building my temporary team once we reach the wild area. So let's see if we can get into that this episode. Right, we should leave now. Our next stop is supposed to be train station in Wedgehurst. One last thing before we race Kindred C. I've got some great advice for you. You know how some you know you know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and cr crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a failproof fa trick? Press the left stick. Okay. Interesting. Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon Kindred. Thanks for the tip up. Remember Wedger Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal, so see you there! Oh, okay. Hmm. Guess we're gonna go back. Going back there. Or is there another way here? Where's the town map? I need the town map. Uh, check map. We're gonna go back here. We've already caught all those Pokemon. Wait, this one. I don't think I have this one yet. We don't have the doggo yet, right? Well, Yamper. Level 8. I think this one is electric type. Well, by using Water Gun, it's just neutral damage anyway. Maybe Bite will do more damage. Okay, one more bite before we throw a Pokeball. Alright, flinch, that's nice. One Pokeball should be enough. Gotcha, Yamber was caught. I'm thinking of putting the guy on my team. Puppy Pokemon, electric type. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. 
As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. It's an electric type. For the meantime, I'm going to send him to the box. Right, we have a new Pokemon. <laughs> oh, a hoot hoot! Of course, we are going to catch this one as well. Now, this is something new because usually you can only catch hoot hoot. During night time, right? It's definitely unusual. And this data is going to be added to the Pokedex. Type normal flying. It always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast the movement can rarely be seen. We're going to the box. Hoot hoot. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Maybe we can find another one. Okay. Purloin. Oh wait, this one is dark type, I forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna use water gun instead. Curious is going to be Curious is going to decrease by one stage. One more water gun. Can't use fake out for alone, should be used for Maybe I should have used tackle instead. Oh well. Could we try finding another one? Not you, not you. I already have you. Maybe one more encounter. If it's still not purloin then. Yeah, we're gonna go to wedge first. <laughs> Hello. I saw Hop sneaking off toward the station. Hop is always unfair. He always gets ahead whenever he wants to race. Come on, King Red will never beat me to the station at that pace. Well, you always run ahead, so how am I supposed to beat you, man? I don't think we need anything else here. We have enough supply of Pokeballs and potions. We're gonna go straight to the station. So out with it, Kindred. How many did you catch? Quite a really special one. But look at how many you caught. You're well on your way to building a fine team. Okay, we got a Swift. Thank you, Hop. Our ship raised our shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. That's a technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again too. Not one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motosco Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Up swam? 
Not quite so fast, you two. And it's my mom as well. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobol as, your, as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. In a set of camping gear. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. We'll try that later. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. Wish us luck, N not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Kindred. Come on, we're off. Okay, nice. We have a scene inside the train. Motostok is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, we can come out to do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Guess we're gonna go for catching spree this episode. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? Where are we what are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. What? <laughs> Wulu, please. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Not leaving me any kind of... While there is massive, there are loads of Pokemon to battle here. Get it, don't you, Kindred? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Sure, sure. But I'm gonna go have a chat with some people here first. Hey, have you and Eevee had a... Nah, it was just my imagination. Sorry to bother you. Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... Oh no, I think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. It's referring if I ever played Pokemon Let's Go. I'm not supposed to see it. You're supposed to talk with this guy. No, no, no. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. Mmm. Okay. The stronger wild Pokemon, the further you go into the wild area. Okay. Five Pokedolls. Thank you. We need to buy anything. Well, we have 20 Pokeballs, 6 Potion, 1 Revive. Should be enough. Find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke next. Okay. So we are going to explore as much as possible. Hello, hello. Hi there. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Thank you. Look at that. That's Motostoke. Way off that way. Between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia, my grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Let's answer with Ouch Professor. 
<laughs> uh, never mind you that. Never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grand admit I've got some talent. Yikes! Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you didn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing gents as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. There you go, Hop. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. you find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Chain a Pokemon box link. Hmm, what is this? Device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Oh nice! I can access the box anytime now. No need to go to the Pokemon Center every time. You can use the Pokemon boxes to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party or transfer Pokemon from your party to a box. You can access your boxes by selecting Pokemon from the cross menu and then pressing the R button. The Pokemon box will be able to put your Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. Should start catching new Pokemon now. Also, we have a fishing rod, right? Perhaps we can get a Magikarp. And Wait, how do you... Hello, Onyx. Well, we have to tell. Oh. Found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around the wild area are strong. If you try battling one, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Run like the wind. Wonder what level is this Onyx? Well, we have a Poké doll, if ever. It's raining. Oh, it's level 26. Mmm, that's a no-no. I'm out-leveled. <laughs> Rain seems real hard here. Oh, it's a wingo. Let's, let's catch one. I actually forgot what the effect of electric current on the ground is. <laughs> Alright, grow, which would decrease my attack by one stage. One more bite. Okay, that will do. Now throw a Pokeball. Wow! Critical HP and you still managed to broke out. I don't have anything to inflict status yet. A Wingo being difficult to catch. Um, what are gun powers boosted because of the rain? 
Wait, really? Wing Wingo? Get in the Pokeball, please. Finally, finally. No one's evolving yet. What's that? Mm, let's switch to two. Or Grud. An Electric! What level is this Electric? Level 10. We can use Branch Pokes, not going to fate him. <laughs> okay. We can just use Scratch. Since another branch poke may faint him. Oh no, why? I think I have a fire lesson, but I'll use it after this match. After this encounter. Come on, please be easy to catch. Nice. No one's evolving. Go into the box, Electric. Another electric Pokemon. Don't think. I forgot to heal my paralysis. Grudge paralysis. It's a bug type, so I'll just use scratch. Bug electric. web speed decrease okay, that should do critical hit we are saving pokeballs so I, I hope we can catch we can Hope we only need to use one Pokeball <laughs> for a Pokemon. Razor Leaf, uh. So Branch Poke has a power of 40, while Razor Leaf has 55. But on the accuracy of 95. Let's replace Branch Poke. We only need one Grass type move anyway. Maybe Growl? Hmm. Actually, let's replace Branch Poke. And not to mention, we can just go to Pokemon Center to make him remember the moves he has forgotten. I think that's an evolved form. I'm not going to engage it. In the meantime, I will cure Grod's Paralysis. Metapod. Let's catch this guy. <clears throat> Let's use Razor Leaf. It's not going to paint him. Perhaps another razor leaf.
Another is relief. Don't do any critical hits, please. Okay. Maybe another one. Or let's use scratch. Just scratch. Okay, that will do. I may need to swap. I may need to send Grod in the back in the box soon. I don't want him over leveling. Maybe once he reaches level 14. Don't be stingy now. Let's put Metabot Metapod in the team. Just to evolve him to battle free. Let's add him to the party and swap blip bug. What level is Metap is Metapod again? Level 8? Level 7. Just three more levels for Butterfree. Oh, another Electrike. We're just going to run. No! Another note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for the... What are these? No, Electric, please. What is that one? It's glowing for some reason. I think I remember reading something about this before that. It's supposed to have... High individual values. I'll I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm going to catch it. I mean, it has to mean something, right? Why is it, why is he glowing? I wonder is I wonder if it's an effect of the electric current. <laughs> but anyway, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt to use another Pokeball. You're going to the box again. And of course... What is this? You gained 166 W? What is that? Let me check... We no longer have any paralyzed heals. It's a hunter. Probably has a high level. Another metapod. Wingull. Electric. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's not showing itself. Well, Joltik. This is another Joltik. Let's see. Another Joltik.
we should look somewhere else. East Lake. Okay. Let's catch this guy. Tancham. Mold Breaker. I think this one's a dark type, if I remember correctly. It's a dark type. Two hits. I'm just gonna use Scratch. It doesn't faint, faint him. One more scratch. Whoops. Okay, Rookie D is already level 12. Replaced with Fury Attack. Okay, let's replace one, perhaps. Wait, Lear is actually good. Mmm. Peck for flying type move. Well, I don't think we need Lear since we already have own claws. We can forget Lear. It's about good to level 8. Just two more levels for him to evolve to Butterfree. Electric? No. Actually, let me invert my camera. I'm not used to regular, the regular control. Vertical. Let's invert both. Okay, that's better. It was this guy. Oddish! Level 13. The levels are beginning to increase. I think we will need to switch to Rookity. Shouldn't kill Oddish. Shouldn't faint Oddish. And okay, that should do. Thankfully, I switched. Uh. Will one Pokeball will one Pokeball will be enough? Will one Pokeball be enough? Uh, please, please, please. I need to heal. Crap. Trip. Okay. Use sweet scent. Please, Odish. Get in the Pokeball. Hodish, no! No! And it's a critical hit. Because I need to reduce his HP further. Mm. We're gonna use Sneak It instead.
beat our opponent close, quick attack. I need to use another quick attack. Okay. What makes this Oddish more powerful is that it has growth. Increasing its both attack and special attack by one stage. Should catch it as soon as possible or else a lot of my Pokemon are going to faint. Only I just thought of this. We should add an Electrike to our party. We can inflict paralysis. Make it will make Pokemon easier to catch. I'm running out of Pokeball. Come on, Odish. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. No! Dead. I'm not going to give up. Get in there, Squabbit. Do you have anything to contribute? Nope. <laughs> Odish? Finally! 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 Why are you so difficult to catch, Odish? What? What are you doing there, Electrike? What can get away? What level is this guy? 15. Crap. Should I use. Should I use a Poké Doll? No! Grud! No! What's that? I think I saw something. It's a Gyarados! Mm. Didn't mean to put it up, but anyway, let's see. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they might even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. Just slide your Joy-Con off your, off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a Poké Toy for their delight. Mm, okay. But for now, I need... Let's quit. I need to heal the others. I'll try Pokemon Camp later. I'll try Camping later. I need to heal the boys. Uh, how do we get back again? Through here, I need my Pokemon to be healed. We don't have a bike yet, unfortunately. Oh, there's a Thai Rogue there! Yes, please heal my Pokémon! And let's... switch. 
How do I access the box again? Ooh, maybe we can go to key items and Pokemon box. Link. We can't use your Pokemon boxes from your bag. So... Okay, press R2 boxes. Uh, I need electric. I think this one was... This one was the one that was glowing. Brave by nature. It's mischievous. This is this one is timid by nature. Let's pick him instead. So we are going to sub Squavet. Electric will be our primary Thunder Wave user. To make a lot of Pokemon easier to catch. And let's buy Pokeballs. Where can we buy Pokeballs? Give me 20 more. I'm gonna go into a, into a catching spree. <laughs> Got another item here. Found a jar of honey. Maybe we use this on the trees, but I saw a Tyrell gear, so maybe let's catch one first. Or was that a mistake earlier? It's another Joltik. I'm searching for a different Pokemon. Electric, no. Okay, there's the Ty Rogue. Not you, Electric. I'm going to catch this boy. What level are you? 10. Let's use Freeze Relief. Nice first move. Good flinch. Good flinch, Grod. Nope, can only use it during the first. What? Why did you faint from Razor Leaf? Not you, Electric. Not you. There are so many of you. It's actually easy to chain Electric here in this area. I mean, if ever I want to find shiny electric, maybe. At you, Tyrogue. That's a Joltik. Oh, fine. Maybe we can search different area. Can we interact with this tree? Nope. Hey. Hey! Okay. Speed up! We're at a disadvantage here. I'll switch to... Nick it first, then to Electric. One quick attack. Alright, not getting any attack bonus from by using quick attack because this one is dark type. We use beat up instead. Hope it doesn't faint it. Nice. It's not going to faint it. 
beat up is dependent on how many Pokemon you have on your party, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Six times. Then let's switch to Electric or Thunder Wave. Time to catch P Dog. Should be easier to catch now that we can now that we can inflict paralysis. Well unless it's a ground type Pokemon that we are up against. Going to the box speed of. Let's catch one more Pokemon before we end this episode. Another note Cooking at Jerry Camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even the power points they need to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted can't battle any longer will perk right up as well with a peeping hot plate of curry before them. Hmm, interesting. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. Okay, so we can make more curries by using a berry. It's a berry tree, do you want to shake it? Yes. Two cherry berries. Let's shake it more. One more berry. As far as I know, there's a Pokemon there. <laughs> Should we shake it more? Let's shake it more. <laughs> Last one. Let's pick up everything. No berries right now. Uh... Don't tell me it's another Joltik. Of course it's another Joltik. How about making a team composed composed merely of Joltics? <laughs> Electric. Oh, that wingle is glowing, but nah. It's a manectric. It's a high level one, definitely. And another Manectric. There's so many Manectrics here. And another another Wingle. So many Wingles. Not you, not you. Maybe here we can find... A oh, it's a Pikachu! Hey Pikachu, hey, hey, hey. Pikachu! I'm gonna catch the mascot. Pokemon Pokemon franchise mascot. What level are you? 15. You won't be able to paralyze Pikachu because it's also an electric type. Okay. Scratch. Pikachu static. And instead, Grod is paralyzed. Mm. Okay, let's try throwing one Pokeball. Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> Refuse. Potowaru said Pikachu. Oh, 
I tried decreasing its HP attack to at least critical. And another thun another thunder wave. Just one quick attack, okay? Don't faint. Don't faint Pikachu, please. Nick it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Hmm. Nice animation of double team. Pikachu! Why are you refusing to get in a Pokeball? No! It's not over yet. We'll use Elect Strike. Come on, Pikachu. Get in there! <laughs> Yeah, not very effective, but almost, but he played almost half of his HP. Come on, Pikachu! <laughs> this is bad. Why are you refusing to get in the Pokeball, Pikachu? <laughs> no, Electrike. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. Let's use Metapod. Come on, Metapod. Hang in there with your high defense stat. Pikachu, Pikachu, no! <laughs> Why are you so difficult to catch? Same as Odish. How many Pokeballs do I need to use? <gasps> ah! <laughs> This sure is an intense battle against Pikachu. Believe in the Pokeball. Let's believe in the Pokeball. Finally. Finally. I think I used more than 7 Pokeballs. Yes, Metapod at least leveled up. Now go evolve. Evolve and become a butterfly. <laughs> Hello, Butterfree. Maybe Butterfree will learn something? Poison powder stands for, I don't know. Learn gust. Just Gust. <laughs> and then, we're going to have Pikachu in the Pokedex as well. Pikachu that can generate powerful electricity, have cheek sacks that are extra soft, and super stretchy. Interesting. But first... Well, you have a Thunder Wave. So I'll switch Electric. Our dear boy. Electric, which you fainted. Okay. <laughs> so episode 3 of Pokemon Sword will be ending here, lads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.